What's up Gear Garage fans? I'm coming to you live from Gear Garage Studios. My name is Tate and I am so excited to share three must-have products to make any multi-day trip better. Now before I impart all of my wisdom, I want to introduce myself a little bit. I am from Utah. Um, I guide for Zach on the Rogue River. So into today's topic. These are three products that I do not go on the river without. Item number one. This might come as a shock. Rain boots. All right, rain boots. Let's get into it. Rain boots are my top camp shoe for sure. And there's a few reasons why. They keep my feet dry the whole time. So when I have to get in and out of boats, especially when the boat, like in the morning when it's soggy, I can step into the boat and I'm not even stressed about my feet getting wet at all because they're in rain boots. Another thing for all the ladies, it's super easy to pee when you're wearing rain boots. You can walk into the water, pee, and then walk out. It's like, honestly, I think that's the biggest perk. Um, it also keeps your tent a lot cleaner if you're sleeping in a tent because you can take them off outside of your tent, lean them against the tent wall in between the tent and the, the rain fly. In the morning, you slip them on super easy. And another huge plus is fashion. Depending on the pair that you get, you can be living high fashion on the water. Here is a picture of me living my best life. <laughs> this is taken uh, at a fashion show on the last night of a river trip on the Rogue. Uh, and this is like my, my usual last night outfit, sporting my pink boots. Rain boots on the river keep your feet dry. They make it so that you can easily go in and out of the boat, in and out of the water. And also they just protect your feet overall. Keeping your feet dry, at least while you're at camp, is a super imperative part of foot health. I'm going to link the boots that I have in the show notes. I got mine at Amazon. Not very expensive. They've been really great so far. I've been able to wear them pretty much all the time and yeah I wear them way more than, than I would think in fact I've even started wearing them in, in regular life but I love my rain boots I will say I recommend getting them a half size to a size bigger because it is all about the ease of pulling them on and off this pair is a little bit narrow so if you have wide feet I would recommend getting a shoe that might fit you a little bit better muck boots come really highly recommended they are durable they're thick and maybe a little bit warmer than these ones are, but these have done everything that I need them to do, and they're freaking cute. So that is product number one. Product number two. Are you ready for this? Once you use this product, you will never camp the same. This might be the greatest thing that I bring on any trip. What is product number two, you might ask? A sand mat. Uh, it's a mesh material, it's amazing, and the technology is so advanced. No sand can stay on the top layer of the sand mat. It's like a sifter. When I started using sand mats, I was like, this is voodoo. This is not real. No, it is real, and it's awesome. Fun fact, it was created for the military to use for helicopter landings. So that's where the technology originated, and as it's kind of migrated or I guess grown into the outdoor industry, it has become a staple. The reasons why it is so awesome is of course the sand-free technology, but then also when it rains, you don't have to use a tent footprint. And honestly, even when it's not raining, I don't use a tent footprint anyway when I use a tent with my sand mat. It doesn't pool because it just goes through. Another reason why I love it is that it's super easy to pack and it can get wet on the water. So I'll show you where I put mine. All right, so I just fold it in thirds. And then I roll it, okay, once it's rolled. This is not a factory roll, but I'm not going for a factory roll. Then I have my watershed, and then I just hook mine to the outside of my watershed. Just like this. So it's rolled. I clip it in, then I tighten it. Here it is. As a guide, I really only want to have one stuff bag. You know, I have all my camping gear, all my clothes, costumes, all that in that bag. And then I have my rig bag. So I like to put that on my back. You can also stuff it pretty much anywhere. You could even just cam strap it on its own and then put that in the gear stack. You can put it in a hatch. They're really versatile in where you can put them. Another reason why I love them is because they're great for sleeping outside or to put a tent on. Here's an image of me using a tent with my sand mat. My tent fits great. I have a little patio, as I like to call it. Sleeping outside is awesome on it as well because you can put your sleeping mat right on it and it protects it it makes it that it doesn't it can't get punctured or anything like that 
and it also just keeps the sand out of your gear. You know, you can put your clothes on top of the sand mat and they stay not sandy. So it just protects your equipment and keeps everything a bit cleaner. I went on a beach trip with a bunch of friends and three of us brought sand mats and we did it like we built a sand mat kingdom. Here's a picture. It was epic. Best beach experience ever because of the sand mat. I'm gonna link Sea Gear, that's the company that produces it. I'm gonna link their website down below. That way you can access it, look at it, and hopefully order one because they really are incredible. You can also buy them at REI and Backcountry. All right, we've covered number one. We've covered number two. Are you ready for number three? Product number three is all about the good of the group, okay? I am talking about the latest in fire pan technology, the pop-up pit. Now the pop-up pit is produced by Fireside Outdoor and they have really taken fires to the next level in the backcountry. Their whole mission is to limit the impact that fires have on the environment around them. And it's easy, it's lightweight, and it's durable. You might not believe this, but it folds down smaller than a camping chair and it's only eight pounds. Now that's just the base model. They also offer grills, um, you can get like a heat shield that goes below. I recommend that just to protect the ground a little bit more. You can do everything that you can do on one of the older fire pans, you can do on a pop-up pit. The setup and takedown is super easy. Unfortunately, I don't have one here in studio to show you. Now, the bottom of it is mesh. It's a big square. It's always getting oxygen going up to it, so it just feeds the fire, and the fire really is so epic. I think that's so hard for it. The, the fire is so epic. I went on a winter Grand Canyon trip and we had 16 people. And here's my pro tip. If you are on a trip that has over eight, maybe over 12 people, bring two fire pants. Because then you're not gonna have people fighting to get closer to the fire. Everyone has equal spacing close to the fire. Everyone can be warm. The campfire is so nice. Two focal points to look at, it's awesome. We had a regular fire pan, like one of the like typical ones, the iron with the two like L-shaped legs. And then we had a pop-up pit. And seeing them work side by side, the pop-up pit created the better fire. Here's an image. We've got the regular fire pan on the right and then the pop-up pit is on the left and you can see the flames bigger. But the best is that you can warm your toes. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy. Like, why is that the best part? But think about it. It's a cold night and all you, all you want is warm toes. You just tuck your little toes underneath the bottom of the fire pan and they're warm. It's simple as that. Warm, cozy feet, big fires, it's great. Rain boots, sand mat, and the pop-up pit. Those are my three must-have products to make a multi-day river trip better. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to hear what your must-haves are. Or if you get these three products, try them out. What do you think? And what, what are the luxury items that make river trips better? Let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for luxury, especially on the river. So let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks so much for spending time with me. Over and out.